Hello, and welcome to another ramen review. Uh, as you can tell today, it is a different one yet again, and this is the ki uh, the Cup Star uh, Kimchi flavour ramen. I almost forgot what it was I was doing there. Um, and, you know, as with my other ramen reviews, I'm going to delve into it, give you the rundown on if these are worth importing or not. But, of course, I cannot do it on my own, because I have a crippling fear of loneliness. So, with me, as always, is my special guest, Dan. Hey Dan, how are you doing? So, uh, in front of us, actually, that's not correct, we have nothing in front of us. Ah, there we are, right, cool. Uh, in front of us is indeed the ramen, all wrapped up, so... We're not gonna we're not gonna run this video very long because they tend to be kind of long anyway. So we're gonna unwrap them. Um, actually, here's a quick look at what they look like close up. All right. So yeah, there's a very there's a very lovely weird Japanese lady. She looks very happy. She's got like that weird big nose kind of art style that like DreamWorks tend to have. You know, sort yeah. of like you you know not not quite the same one, but. Um, right, yeah, so there's not much more to say before we do anything, so let's just jump to random game music with us pouring water into yeah, this, soon a bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, hello. So, we're back. Uh, we've given it three, six, twenty minutes. Um, and everything looks ready, so I'm gonna peel off the top. Okay, here we go. So, gotta say, smells amazing. Oh wow. Well, get right in there. Smells smells like kimchi. Yeah. Have you ever tried kimchi red? I have. I've had it um once or twice. I think I had some kimchi flavoured like crisps, um or potato chips if you're American. Um a while back. Yeah. You know, they, they were quite nice, and I think I've had kimchi in ramen before. It wasn't kimchi flavour, it was like with the other ramen or whatever it was. But um, yeah, this is my first kimchi thing. Have you had much? I've tried kimchi, not as much as I'd like to. But, yeah. But, um, well. I know my brother, when he went to China a few years ago, said that, like, the area he was in, they were mad for kimchi. It's like quite expensive. But my, really nice. The first thing that when I when I think of kimchi, I think of the the woman slapping a guy with a kimchi. Yeah, no, I can't say I've, I can't say I've seen that. Sorry, Dan, you're on your own there. Okay. Um, right. Should we get on track? Yeah. Right. Okay. So the first taste. Here we go. Like it hasn't proper hit yet, but it's kind of like a slightly spicy, savoury flavour. Yeah. If that makes sense, like, it's got a little bit of... I, I don't know if it's heat exactly, it's a kick. It's... I don't know, it's not much heat. It's, it's like... It's tingling. Hmm. It's like, yeah. It's, it's like there's a bit of garlic or something. It's not like a, oh, grab me some water kind of stuff. But it's quite pleasant so far. I, so far, so good. And i got to say, the noodles are going down really well as well. Mm. It's, um... Yeah, it's a good fit for it this is kind good. of thing. I'm actually going to take time with this. I'd want to rush it. Yeah. I feel the same way. This is like... So, do you remember years and years ago, like, when we were 10 or something, so back, like, early 2000s, there was something called posh noodles, which is pot noodle, which is a um, ramen thing that we get over here, sort of cup noodles. Although we don't call it ramen. No, we call it, we call it noodles. Um... Typically, um, but yeah, so posh noodle was like pot noodle, but it was these... a spin off then, it was like some marketing. Yeah, thing so the, the noodles were a lot nicer, and the flavors were a lot more like thing. And there was like a sweet chili kind of one, or a chili chicken or something. And it's reminded me a lot of that like the yeah. noodles taste, and like just everything. I don't know, it's which well, is kind of cool. The thing is, I'm not surprised if. Um... There are restaurants out there that have something like this, a little ramen pot noodle, but it's like given the Michelin five-star treatment. Hmm. And Well, I know, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments here, but I know there are 
Because in, in Japan, like, ramen is a big thing, as in, like, you know, people are really into their ramen and stuff. Well, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I think there are, like, limited edition ramen pots and stuff, and they go for quite a lot of money. Like, really? Like, four or five quid, which is quite a lot. Like, I think you'd agree that it'd be quite weird to see that over here if it was, like, a fiver for a cup ramen kind of thing. But over there, they use, like, really good ingredients, and it's... I think it's sometimes by ramen chains, so they have right. like, the little stores you go into. And I think some of them specifically, like, so they're artisan ramen cups, if that makes sense. Um, honestly, so far, like, have you tried the, the broth? So it's I'm looking forward to the broth. I'm, um, that is, that is kind of usually some of my favourite part of noodles. Well, yeah, that's the whole... It wouldn't be ramen um, without noodles, obviously. Hmm. But I do agree. I think it's it's all in the broth. Yeah. It's all in the broth. It's um, it's fun fact. I mean, going back to the um, people that are into ramen, there's a so on the um, Japanese forum Two Chan or Two Channel, which yeah. obviously is what Four Chan's based off. Okay. There's a ramen board. There's just a board for ramen. A board dedicated to ramen. Yeah. It's uh, it's fantastic. I've I've been on it a few times because, you know, to practice my kana basically because yeah. most of them do tend to type in kana and um, yeah, it's just phenomenal. Sort of like people posting pictures of either ramen they've made or like a really good ramen bar they've been to mm. or whatever. So no, it's cool. Like so far, there's no, f I'm, I'm, there's no flaws to this whatsoever. Yeah, I'm finding it really hard to. Be a critique of it. It's hmm. Yeah, I like. There's nothing disappointing. The noodles are very nice, and sort of the broth. Everything works really well together. It's. It's not so hard for other people to hmm. keep away from it. Cause I know so, there are people out there who don't like spicy food, which is shocking. Yeah, but this I mean, is very tame. I think spices do tend to be a bit more popular in Asia. In general, like, not that they're not over here, like, you know, a lot of places will always do their, like, spicy chicken stuff or, uh, you know, like, restaurants. But, but no, it is true, like, like, there are areas in Europe where they prefer salt over sweet. Like, when, when I was out in Norway, everything was very salty. I struggled to find popcorn that was sweet or sugary. Hmm. You only add salt, so I guess it, where you are on the planet is uh, the food will be obviously different. Yeah, um, you know, it, it may be well, not <laughs> not a survival thing, but like in generally slightly colder places, people may prefer salty things because it gives you fat, yeah, like quicker and sort of like carbs and stuff. Would you want to, you know? Eat in sort of colder things, so traditionally. Well, well, I think well, uh, in Norway they salted it because it would last longer during the winter. Yeah, and um, I suppose you know through generations, like hundreds of years, they developed a sense of more savoury than sweet things. Mm. Yeah, I've got to the kimchi part. Mm. I've got to say the kimchi itself is fantastic. Also, apparently, really not good for you. What? Um. Because of the pickling process and stuff of kimchi, yeah. Um, if you eat it regular, and I, I, I mean regular, like sort of like, because I know in um, in South Korea it's really popular and stuff. Obviously, yeah. I know people eat it daily or whatever. That's when it's really bad for you. Like, well, anything, anything, yeah. You know, moderation's key. But then I wouldn't think I thought kimchi would be good for you. So it's... you'd think so, but apparently, from what I read, I mean. This could be hyperbole, because, you know, obviously, you see news articles like, this thing is really bad for you and will kill you, and it's like, yeah, if you eat it, like, every hour. Fake news! <laughs> well, this video is being demonetized. <laughs> I don't make money from YouTube anyway. <laughs> um, and never will. <laughs> but, no, 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 I hope you make money. Thank you. Um, but yeah, no, like, it's, um, I think it's something to do with the process, or something, the, like... 
I think there's even warnings around us, like, yo, calm down with the kimchi. But, you know, I don't think we're ever in danger of that. It's not like it's... <laughs> calm down with the kimchi. I don't think anyone has ever said that. Yo, calm down with the kimchi, man. It's, uh, too much kimchi around here. My new plan for a um, South Korean reality TV show. Calm down with the kimchi. It's, um, yeah. Work in progress. Yeah. If I may compare it to another thing, it's like the broth from Shin Cup, which is the spicy thing, except you don't get the, like, sort of heat. It's more yeah. of a kind of, it's just a passing, like, oh, bit of the cake, there it goes, kind of. And I think part of it is, obviously, because it's boiling water, it adds yeah. to the heat a little bit as well. It's like if Shin Cup had a, like a mild version. Very mild version. And that's what you get. But uh, I hold this in high regard. Mm. Yeah. Um, not a spoiler warning, but the review thing is going to be pretty pretty positive. I you think. think. You think? I think. How does that go again? What are the? How do we review it for those who don't know? Um, actually, well, we'll get on that in a minute. Whereas noodles, flavour, value. Right, and we are back. So we have uh, devoured our cup star ramen uh, kimchi flavour, and we are now prepared to discuss the three, the three golden steps of cup ramen. So the first is noodles. Noodles. So this is about like the quality of the noodle and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna say um, it's a rating out of five. Just clarity. Yeah. So, I'm going to say, um, not too much to say about the noodles, to be honest. I would give them a solid four out of five. They're quite satisfying. They've got enough, like, heft to them and stuff. They're not hard. They're not too soft. They kind of, you know. Yeah. They're there. They, they serve their purpose well. I'm going to say four as well, because I think <coughs> they're outstanding. They're great. They don't make quite the mark, as in, you know, they're not, like, out in properly done restaurants, but for what it's worth, yeah, it is really good. So I'm gonna give a four on that. Right, okay, so next up is flavour. Um, obviously flavour is kind of like what it was going for, how strong it was, was it too overpowering or whatever. Um, and yeah, so I'll be honest, I'm sort of having had kimchi once or twice, in other products, I'm not sure what I was looking for exactly, but that was that was very very pleasant. There was an overall slightly spicy kind of a little a little hint of sourness maybe, but I don't know. Maybe that was just me. Um, but yeah, and I well, to be honest, hmm. Now I usually have a rule against ruling things as perfect because obviously you can always improve. Yeah, but. Being as the five point scale isn't really built for that, I'm going to give the taste a five because I thought that was exactly what I expected and completely delivered on it. Like, after drinking the broth, after finishing it, I kind of sat for a minute. I was like, oh man, my, my tongue is still like dancing with the flavours and shit. So, that was really good. Like, genuinely impressed with the flavour there. I was impressed with it. Um, I wanted to live in there, I wanted to swim in it. And it, 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 there was no flaws to it. There was absolutely no flaws to it. You could take out all the noodles out of it, and if you had that as a broth, yeah, I would still, absolutely, I would lap it up. Yeah, I would happily lap it up. Yeah, it's. Uh... And I'm also giving it a five because you know you might think, oh, a five is a stretch, but no, no, the, it was. Damn tasty. There was yeah. there was no flaw to it whatsoever. And now we're on to value. value. Right, so value we worked out is around about one pound eighty, which converts yeah. to like two dollars fifty or something. So again, a little bit pricey, you know, sort of because noodles around here they tend to fluctuate, They're and I think and anything about a pound. Under a pound, or a pound. Yeah. Is... So, so it's... I am going to say, one pound eighty. I mean, to be fair, 
the value does take into consideration the other two aspects as well. I would say maybe the value is a four for me, just because it's fantastic, it's really nice. These are, however, priced just that just that extra little bit that I'd have to be like, it's got to be a bit of a special purchase. Like if if this was in a store, mm. I you know I wouldn't just like grab a few and be like, man, I'm going to be stocked for months. I'd be like, I'll do it when you know I want to treat myself. Yeah, um, I think for what you. It's hard, but for what you're getting, I mean, it depends what you think is good value. I mean, because how big is this? This is 330? Yeah, around about. Like, it's a standard, it's a standard ramen yeah. size. Because, like, the, Japan tend to have that, the large one, and then the bowl one. Yeah, it's, well, it's about the size of a, you know, can, really. Yeah. And, I mean... I mean, the price could be better, but for what you're getting, I'd happily pay one pound, um, under one pound eighty, for it. So, I am giving it. Can we have point system? Oh, we sticking. I, have to... Yeah, just I think we'll just stick to the number. Otherwise, it's just a ten point scale. All right, it'll be a four because I was going to say three, three and a half, but okay, you know, I'd say a four. Yeah. It's good for you. Right, well, I think we've agreed on all the points again. Uh, again. On, on the other side of the scale this time, actually, because last time we did the uh, tonkatsu, which... Oh, go and watch that review if you want more details of why it wasn't that great. But, you yeah. know, that was appalling. That, yeah. It was... It was that's, that's not... Quite, that's not, we're in a good... We've got a good yeah, vibe going, really. Exactly. Don't forget about the past. Yeah, Think look, the look towards the future, look towards the stars, the cup stars. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that was, <laughs> oh, that was catastrophic, leave that in, that's fine. Um, yeah, so that about wraps up our review. Thank you very much for sticking around to this thing. Uh, I will be putting a playlist for the other ramen reviews up there, your random video up uh, down at the bottom there. Also, just really quick, I don't usually do this, massive thank you to Everyone that subscribed and watched my videos, I'm one subscriber away from 100 subscribers. That may have changed, actually. Um, it may have gone down to 98 by the time this is done. But it could be minus 100. Yeah, you know, you, you I, know. I will owe you two subscribers somehow. Um, but yeah, but, you know, genuinely, like, genuinely heartfelt, you know, thank you to everyone that subscribed. And everyone just that just watches. You yeah. don't have to be a subscriber. You know, I realise you don't want your feed filled with videos from hundreds of you know, channels. But yeah, so that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon.